people do when I eat pizza. They're like, you want to eat Domino's in Japan? Good morning, guys, or good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon <laughs> from Elena and I. We're back at it. It's a beautiful day in Tokyo, and we are in Ginza right now, which is like the fancy affluent district. This is where all the five star, well, most of the five star Michelin restaurants are. Lots of lot high end of, shopping. Yes. Yeah. Very nice, very pretty, very mm -hmm. different again. I feel like wherever I go to a new place in Tokyo, I keep saying the same thing, it's different. But I mean, every single dis district here is so just unique, yeah, you know? So that's why I'm so happy that I've, al I've already been here for five days, mm -hmm. but I'm so happy that I'm staying for longer because there's just so much to see. Yeah. I feel like I barely like scratched the surface. Like, I know people always say that, but like here, I really feel like I barely scratched the surface. That's true, but you have actually seen quite a bit, I feel like. You know, yeah, some... I've been doing stuff every single day. Yeah, so. you have been doing a lot because some people, you know, that I know that have been some here, people are laborers. They just stay in like, well, I mean, they just stay in like Shibuya, Harajuku, and Hotei Sando, and like that's it. But how can you do that? How can I know. you? I mean, I love Shibuya. Yeah, it's amazing. Love Harajuku. Yeah. I love staying there. Yes. Oh, I actually moved. I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna insert the part here where I'm showing you around my new room. Mm -hmm. It's my first time staying in a hotel in Japan and it's so different. It's yeah. just... If you saw my first Tokyo vlog, you know that when I first came to Japan, I stayed in a capsule hotel in Shibuya. It was $64 per night. So more affordable than a hotel in Rapongi, where I moved to later, where I paid $120 per night. But after staying in a capsule hotel for a couple of days, I just simply couldn't do it anymore. I needed more space. And if you think about it, a hotel does cost twice as much, but you do get like 10 times more space. So I was not supposed to vlog today, but I just just checked in into my new hotel and I was like I need to film this because I've been just walking around looking at everything and there's not that much walking you can do here because it's freaking tiny can you believe that this place cost me $120 per night it's a three-star hotel APA which is a chain here in Japan and I just want to show you give you like a little Japanese room tour because this is possibly the most interesting hotel room I've ever stayed at and I don't know, Japan is just the most interesting country ever. Honestly, I think if I would have to choose the most interesting country on earth, it would probably be Japan. Okay, so this is what you see when you walk in. The room is tiny. I'm filming this on wide angle lens just so you're able to see everything because otherwise you wouldn't. So it might look bigger like on camera than it actually is in reality. So you do get like a kimono jacket, which is cute. Um, the bed is very nice, like looks very clean and proper, which is just Japan. Uh, the view is also quite nice. There's a Ferrari store right here. I honestly never seen as many supercars as I've seen here in Tokyo. What's cool, it's also, again, typical Japanese thing to be so like smart at everything, like so many plaques, everything. Um, and then <sighs> there's a lot going on here. That's the funniest part, I think. <laughs> Domino's pizza, because I feel like maybe that's what they think that people, or maybe people do want to eat pizza. Then who wants to eat Domino's in Japan? Like no hate on Domino's. I actually kind of like it, which I'm ashamed of to say because it's just shitty quality pizza uh but i do like it sometimes you feel like shitty pizza right so but like not in japan come on japan has so much good food that's something i find interesting that they tell you that under luggage storage space that you have space to put your luggage under the bed because obviously like as you see there is literally no space here uh so i did that as well and i love that they told me to do it because otherwise i would never think of it myself no i'm being kind of ironic but not really to be honest kettle fridge you do get pajamas which is apparently like very normal in hotels in japan like when you book hotels on booking.com for example which is i what i always use if a hotel doesn't offer pajamas they like say it everywhere like we do not offer pajamas my hotel in kyoto doesn't give pajamas and I, I, I kind of find it interesting right because like that's not something i expect to get from a hotel i wouldn't even want to wear that pajamas to be honest i'm, I'm sure they're clean and great you know especially here in Japan, but it's it's not norm anywhere else in the world, right? So here you do have a hairdryer and like coffee, etc. And then the bathroom, it's tiny, but also typical Japanese bathroom, right? With a Japanese toilet, uh, but it has a bathtub and the bathtub, I don't know if you can tell, maybe I will get in it just so you can see. I feel like that's something probably you shouldn't do in Japan, like get in a bathtub and you close, right? do you see how small it is like i cannot like i can just do this but it's very like how do you call it how do i call it 
do I get out now? But running in Yuyogi Park every day, guys, my legs hurt. And I had no place to stretch. That's why I needed to check into a hotel at least for a couple of days. Uh, because my body hurts. <sighs> the water is drinkable. We're in Japan, so the, the water quality is great. They do give you a lot of shampoo and conditioner. And it's actually good. Oh, well, I think it will be good quality because in my previous place, which was like a hostel, a, a capsule ho hotel, they call it here, there was conditioner and shampoo. And guys, I've, I've never seen conditioner and shampoo in that good quality in a hostel like i've never seen like they never give you conditioner and shampoo in hostels anywhere else but in hotels like five star hotels usually the shampoos and conditioners they give you are shit but here they're good which is japan and you also get a lot of stuff like this is uh how do you call it body towel which it's like a sponge sponge <laughs> i said it funny sorry this is a uh, hairbrush razor you know toothbrush like they do give you a lot i just feel like it's quite it's quite a lot for a free star hotel but at the same time the price is also quite steep for a free star hotel and for that little space but that's tokyo i knew what i was signing up for so i'm not complaining i am complaining but i'm not really you know what i mean okay back to the vlog guys the this might be the japanese emperor we don't know <laughs> but we're not allowed to cross the street Everyone has been stopped, people here, cars have been stopped, everyone is waiting here. And then there's a fancy car coming. Could it be also like another member of royal family, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just somebody, you know, important, whether it's political. Wow, this is weird. <laughs> Oops, sorry, did I just hit yeah. you in the face? I'm so sorry. Okay. And I got that on camera. It's gonna be the thumbnail. I hit Alina in Japan. Drama. drama. <laughs> drama. And it is happening. We're going to famous Tsukiji fish market, which is actually not a market anymore, right? No, they, mo they moved it to Toyosu, which is like near Odaiba where we were before, but they still have the really famous sushi restaurants that they always had in this area. Some of the freshest sushi in the whole city is these restaurants. Yes, so we're gonna grab some sushi for lunch. There are all these small shops here selling sushi and all this kinds of different eel. Ah. Eel is very popular. Oh yeah, I see Japan. that everywhere. Like a of rice. These are the famous expensive strawberries. Look at this. Okay, that's not even the most expensive. Like this is three thousand yen, which is how much in dollars? Thirty Canadian, about twenty-three US. Twenty. So a dollar per strawberry. Okay, but there I see. For, so that's. A lot, but I think it can get even more, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure, it can get even higher. This is like on the street, so it's never going to be like that yeah. much. But if you go into a department store, that's where it can get crazy. Yeah. But that to me is crazy. That mango is 4,000 yen. That's like four Wait, Canadian for a mango. That tiny mango, let me yeah. show you. <laughs> it's a lot for a mango. What the hell? I know, right? <laughs> You're not getting that one. <laughs> So if you didn't know, this is like a thing here in Japan where they have really expensive fruits. Obviously, these fruits are meant as gifts. Yes, yes. they're well, not like as unless gifts, you're a millionaire, I guess. you're not yeah. having it every day. It's, it's like not something gift. you just randomly get. Yeah. Um, but in a way, I think I know it's like kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, I rather get gifts that I can actually eat or That's like true. you know, it's gonna and it's gonna be the best fucking fruit you've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> than like a statue of something yeah. that is just standing there in your house. Agreed, like, agreed. We're trying to find a restaurant, but even though obviously there's like restaurant on top of a restaurant here, it's not an easy task because it is very busy and there are a lot of lines everywhere. Very touristy uh, as well. It's mainly tourists. So this is where we're gonna have lunch. Very nice. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, that looks really nice. Glad we came here. So we came to this sushi restaurant, and as you can see, so here you start with some sets, and then you have whole lots of nigiri options to choose from, and basically, well, there are also some hand rolls. Uh, you here, you have a bunch of other stuff. And then desserts. Rolls are more of a Western thing. I feel like this is a pretty con like a lot of people know it by now, but just wanted to emphasize it here because there's just so many different uh, types of nigiris, but not one single 
girl, not one single California roll in here. <laughs> Invention of food, Austin Lee Kai. They have California rolls. Big crab and avocado I love how you use your phone like, you know, people use glasses. You yeah, use your phone to understand <laughs> what's happening here. <laughs> to understand what it is. Yeah, I think we order either like kind of a miso soup, a nori bowl, or we get like an udon one. Uh. And if, yeah, if that's the price with the set, that's a crazy good deal. So we just get our food and look at this. This is a piece of art. <laughs> Literally a piece of art. The one that she has by herself. No, so here they are started from scratch. Mmm, that's pretty good. Mmm. That little roll. Nice. Very good. Uh, again, you know, it's not even the fish, it's the rice. Yeah, very high quality. Fish is delicious, rice. but it's the yeah. rice. Yeah. So much better than at home than in our countries. Mm. Unfortunately, died and went to heaven once again here in Japan. I like that's the wrong. Like you should not have taken me here. Like this is literally like bringing I an told addict. You, you, like, <laughs> I, told you, like, I don't even know where to look because I want everything. So we are in a mall in Ginza, Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi Mall, which is a very well a popular mall. But I, is this well, it's, it's actually, they consider it like a department store. Department you know, store. like Saks okay. in like the U.S. Uh, this, this is like their okay. version Mitsukoshi, and it's like a fancy department store. Yes, and it's been in Japan. Like it's a Japanese brand that's been around for probably over a hundred years. And here on the ground floor, you have well. I wouldn't call it a food court. How would you call that? Like, well, like, yeah, like a, a place where you can get a lot of good food. <laughs> yeah, you, you can buy like everything from dessert to like more mains to the fanciest Japanese green tea, coffees, everything of the highest quality. Like this is a luxury mall. It's not like you know yeah. cheap brands or something mm -hmm. like that. This is like the best of the best. Yes, and in Japan they just do have a lot of really good sweets and cake and like just all kinds of sweet yes. stuff yes. Um, and there's just so much here guys like I literally don't know where to look at this feels like being in a museum for sweets or desserts everything is just so pretty and like really well displayed in its own separate little box and it's So we made it to Akihabara, which is an area known for games, cosplay, yeah. right? It's like an electronics district first because here you'll have places like Big Camera, Yodobashi Camera, the huge crazy electronics stores. So that's number one. Which is something Japan is also really known exactly. for. Exactly. One of the first places I went to was Big Camera in Shibuya. Yes, yeah, they are like all over Japan, but I think this is where they originated. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is definitely like anime, manga, cosplay. You see all these like, you know, yeah. idols or whatever <laughs> being played on these big yes. trucks. A lot of the like, yeah, pop idols actually perform here. So a lot mm -hmm. of times they'll have like concerts here in Akihabara. They have like the arcade games, like Pachinko as well. Look, like this place exactly. behind me. Another thing that they're very known for that we are going to be going to is maid cafes. Yes. And I feel like for someone who doesn't know what it is, it might sound a little wrong, don't you think? That people yes, think? Probably, yes, probably, probably. And it is wrong, but, <laughs> but you are also common. right. And it's family friendly. No, like, family, this is nothing something they do shady. With their kids. It's, no. There's nothing shady it's happening. Very cute. Beside ladies wearing a cat ears. No, yes. that's another thing. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's like a very cute place where they dress up in maid outfits. You have super cute food. And usually, like, once every hour, they put on, like, dancing, singing performances. So that's really what it yeah. is. So the waitresses yeah. are dressed as maids. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they actually, they do call you master and mistress in Japanese. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, like that's okay. the thing. Yeah, okay. like they're serving you. So that's yeah. kind of weird, but it's normal here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do that because yeah. we thought it would be fun to experience. This area is known for many maids cafes, so. Yeah. And we do want a coffee, so. Absolutely. 
Might as well yeah. <laughs> get it from a maid. Exactly. exactly. They made dream and written. What? Ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There is. The great thing about hanging out with a fellow YouTuber is that we basically do photo shoots everywhere and we both love it, so. Should I? Yes, thank you. Where do you want it? Do you want it like. Look at this, guys. This is gonna be such a cool shot. Oh my god, like, what do we do? Which one? Everything. Are... <laughs> yeah, everything. Just it all. So the maid cafe unfortunately didn't work out for us because it turned out that you're not allowed to film in there. Yeah. Uh, so and you do have to pay for entrance. So you pay about ten dollars for entrance, and then of course you order food. Uh, but yeah, we decided that maybe maybe it's not something we want to do for now. So we came to a um, a restaurant that is known for good pancakes. Fluffy pancake is another thing Japan is really known for. So we're gonna get ourselves some fluffy pancakes. I haven't had them yet in Japan. To be honest, I don't think I've ever tried like no? those like typical Japanese fluffy pancakes. They don't no. have them in like Poland or they do. They, they definitely do. I've seen yeah. them places. I just never had them before. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to try it. Like that has definitely been on my list coming to Japan because I love pancakes mm -hmm. and the pancakes here. I mean, they do look crazy. You're gonna see in a second. Okay, these pancakes look amazing. And I'm like, this is beautiful. Like this is art. Okay. This right. Is Look how flat I do want to touch it. Yeah, I can touch it. Hi, Mr. Buddha. It's so squishy. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like, do you see me playing with my pancake in the background? It's so. I know they're called fluffy pancakes, but they're actually really fluffy. Yeah. What, how did they make them that fluffy? I don't know. It must be like a certain like, kind of Why don't you think people are so smart? They come up with so many genius things. That they do. And also, like the presentation. That's the thing about Japan, right? Like, we're very always like value presentation, so they make it pretty, which I love. It's also something that really speaks to me. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Aesthetic. With mango, okay, the perfect right. Oh my god. Mm. This is it, guys. This is the moment of me eating the fluffy pancake for the first time. Mm. It tastes fluffy as well. It's so different, right? Than yeah, like regular yeah. pancakes. Yeah. Mm. Definitely better than American pancakes. Oh, for sure. I mean, it doesn't take much to. <laughs> Fucking iPhone. <laughs> iPhone is terrible. So we're just like taking a little break, convenience store, get some water, and look what Alina just found. Like it's just Hilarious. Japan. Like, what is this? It's a snick snicker. Yeah, yeah it is Snickers. a Snickers. Yeah, and it's purple. And then it says here, never mind, make it right. I'm fine. Save me also. Oh my god, is that like a if you need savior, you just get yourself a stick? Yeah, exactly. That's just very weird. Like, how, who came up with this? I'm getting this. What is this? Melon high chew with, I don't know, sauce. Hai chew? Yeah, have you, have you never had a high chew? No, what is oh it? Maybe god. I just don't, oh like, god. I've never even heard that I'm name. Also, by the way, I think this is a very well known piece of information, but convenience stores in Japan are obviously incredible. Like, they're next level. To be fair, the ones in China are also next level. So I wouldn't say Japan does convenience store better than China, but it's mm -hmm. equally good. Mm -hmm. And there is just so... Do you want to just drink our water here? Because I'm like traumatized after carrying bottles yeah, through half of Tokyo. Here and, have a drink. <laughs> and that's a funny yeah. shot. That's a fun shot. <laughs> I'm gonna try the... What was the name you said? Hai Hai Chu. Hai Chu. Yeah. So oh, it's melon flavor, right? Melon ice cream, I think. Melon See, ice like, look, cream. It has an ice What's cream the, on I it. I never understand that one. Like they make crazy flavors like that, like cheesecake flavor. Well, it means that like if it was just melon, it'd just be pure melon, right? So this is gonna be like so a they creamy made, sweetness to it. They made it into ice cream and yeah. then it's tricking us. Okay, let's yeah. see. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I got a suck on it first. Yeah, I got a suck on it. Just two friends sucking on shoes. <laughs> High shoe in Tokyo on the a Friday night. Well, literally, yeah, Friday night. We're sitting on a 
on the curb. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's somebody right behind, beside us. They're doing it too, so it's not just the guy Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. People, once you... Okay, one thing... I don't do you know, think they're also sucking on the high shoes? Probably. No, but okay. We all do that here in Tokyo. I don't know if you've experienced this so far, so a very common thing, especially in Tokyo, that happens if you are around the main like subway straight stations on last train and the last train of the night you will see like salary men in three thousand dollar suits passed out on the ground really? everywhere oh yeah really that's like so common because like they have such a strong um you know like work culture in general but they also like party together usually almost every night yeah like, that team heard. bonding Mm. And they get absolutely squashed. Yeah, I, I heard that there's a huge like drinking culture here. Yeah. So, so yeah. they literally get so wasted that they don't make it home. Yeah. They just sleep in the metro. Because they're also like fucking like they're work to the bone. They barely sleep. Like their whole life is just work. Oh my god. And sad. I think they drink to like almost like numb the pain. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely alcoholics. And yeah, they just like pass out. Yeah, that's so, sad. Yeah. But the high shoe was good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm back home. I mean home. My little my little home in Tokyo. I just want to show you something because again, it's not something I've seen before. So the way it works here is that my room doesn't come with cleaning. Like there's no one cleaning it for $120 per day. Anyways, however, I wasn't sure how it works with towels or uh, you know like coffee etc like do you just use the same towel or like what do you do anyways what what happens is actually when I came home uh, there was this bag hanging in front of my door and I was like is that is that this bag is for me like do I take it but I, I, I guess it is for me and inside of the bag I will show you what's inside of the bag and here you get a pajama so I guess you get a new like clean pajama every day which I'm not gonna use because I don't know I just don't feel like using it um, and then you get like this cleaning towel thing and new cups and coffee and also new towel today was such an intense day that I'm completely exhausted like I'm barely staying alive but I do have some energy left so I'm gonna take a bath uh, but yeah it was so much fun I absolutely loved hanging out around Tokyo again once again every single day since I came to Tokyo has been absolutely amazing. As I've already told you in my last vlog, I did expect Tokyo to be great, but honestly, it like it even exceeded my expectations. It's that good. I love this city. I find it so inspiring, so incredible. Every single neighborhood you go to is completely different. It's a different experience, different architecture, different style. And also, it's so fun to hang out with Alina. Uh, we really do get along. We're so similar in many ways. So it's just really fun to, you know, hang out with someone who you can talk to about, well, we literally talk about everything, but also about YouTube and content creation. I don't really know many other people who create content. So it's just very refreshing to be able to talk about it to someone. And I think it is a pretty unique, strange job or activity, I guess. Uh, talking to yourself on the camera like and then having strangers comment on your life recently I thought a lot about what I create How I make my videos and how I want them to change a little bit. I think I In the process of trying to make my videos better because I do care a lot and I want to make good entertaining videos that you enjoy and that I'm proud of. That's something that is extremely important for me. I don't want to make videos and put them on the internet if I'm not proud of them myself. Uh, however, in that whole process of trying to get better, I think I lost a little bit of the fun, or a lot of the fun, unfortunately, and I lost, like, I lost myself in the process, you know? No, but it's just, it, I wanted to make my videos better, so it almost became like stressful for me to film because I was always feeling like I wasn't doing a good job like I wasn't saying the right thing I wasn't being interesting enough or I wasn't filming enough and 
So I don't know if you can tell, but my approach to these Tokyo vlogs has been a bit different, a bit more casual, which doesn't mean that I don't want my videos to be good, obviously not. I still want to try to get good shots and say interesting things, obviously. However, I'm trying to go back a bit to what YouTube used to be for me in the very, very beginning, where I would just take a camera and hang out with my friends around Shanghai and film. And I think since, you know, I'm here, well, I'm hanging out with Alina a lot in Tokyo, I feel like it really reminds me um, of my early days on YouTube. And, you know, it's just so much fun to be able to, like, interact with someone else in a video. Uh, and especially, you know, interacting and filming with Alina is especially fun because she's obviously a YouTuber as well. So she's obviously really comfortable in front of a camera and then also the fact that she knows so much about Tokyo because she used to live here, that's also really cool. So yeah, I just, I just been really enjoying making these Tokyo vlogs and I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go and take a bath and tomorrow there is another great day coming because I'm meeting up with Alina again or we're hanging out again and we're gonna explore new areas of Tokyo that I still haven't seen. This city is so huge and there is so much to explore that I'm just excited. Okay, I'm gonna go and let me know in the comments what you think about my Tokyo looks, okay? If you can if you can see the difference, because I'm also really wondering, like, can people see the difference or is it just like up in my head? Nobody else. Okay, bye. <laughs>